So hopefully I'm not a day late and a dollar short on these uh, November favorites for you guys. <laughs> I got a few things, a few things I mentioned before, but I really, really love them, love them and have been using them that much that I'm going to have to repeat them. <laughs> I actually contemplated doing a favorites video just because um, a few of them, well, not that many, a couple. Yeah, I just, I mentioned before, but I still love them and I use them every day. So I'm going to mention them again. <laughs> This has been an obsession. I got this here. I didn't even haul it yet, which I need to do some hauls. <laughs> um, this is the 22 set by Sephora or Formula X for Sephora. Um, I've been obsessed with this polish. Okay, I got this first and I used it and put a, um, what did I put on there? Like gray with some black sparklies over the top. And I could not believe how well that stayed on my nails and for how long. I've actually been painting my nails with which if you watch me for a while I don't really talk about nail polish and I don't really paint my nails and the reason being is you know it lasts like a day without chipping um OPI has always been the best for me and now that I found this I'm I just I can't, I can't believe how well they stayed on my hands granted I am not outside as much like in the summer doing the crazy things I do with my hands at the moment but the the the, the manicure stayed on my nails for like a week I could not believe it and I was gonna just leave it on there but I had so many colors to choose from that I actually took it off and it was still fine <laughs> just because I wanted to try out a different a different combination uh, now I will say though the glitter polishes are a they are hard to get off <laughs> um, so just keep that bear that in mind I guess uh, I did get the the nail polish remover with the pump that cut this for X one that takes off the polish fairly good but it is still is hard to get the glare polishes off so I did get this here and absolutely love these polishes and I, I like I like went nuts and bought I don't know how many of the great big ones that aren't in this kit and I just I can't I can't help myself there's just so many endless combinations and they stay so well on the nails I have this one little finger the accent nails a little odd I guess but um yeah I just I've had these on for a couple of days now too these these purple ones uh, it's DSLR here let's see here yeah it's so pretty though these polishes are just divine a second love which this is I didn't hold this either I just hadn't gotten around to it I've had it for probably two months now this is the Lushy de Rose by Sicily it is a blush yeah there's a little deal on there but this is an a ridiculously expensive blush it is very beautiful on the skin <laughs> the color is definitely dupable this is what it looks like that is what it looks like it is absolutely a stunning uh, pattern in the in the pan obviously but here I'll show you the polishes real quick I got it focused in look at that aren't those cool Oh, I'm obsessed with the polishes. Okay, anyway, this is the blush. It's so, it's so, so pretty. But it's just a really, really pretty shade of, it turns out to be a baby pink. You guys can see what it looks like right there. But it's just gorgeous. It was, it was stupidly expensive. But, um, you get 0. 0.52 ounces of product, which is about twice the amount of a normal blush. <laughs> I'm trying to make myself feel better here. Actually, some blushes are like 0. 0.1 something ounce, so this could be maybe three or four times the amount, depending on what, what blush you're referring to. <laughs> um, but I do really, really love this. It's really, really pretty. And then this is one of those products that I've mentioned before in a favorites video, but I just cannot stop using it. And it is the Burberry Fresh Glow Nude Radiance Number 1. And I use this as a highlighter, like... Every, almost every day there's the pattern is gone it's got the Burberry pat, pattern into the powder but I can't stop using it it's like it's got a just tinge like a very almost undetectable pink undertone to it otherwise it's just a, a really pale pale white type of a highlighter almost a skin toned white highlighter I don't know if that makes sense but I'm really really fair and I use highlighters more than just a, um more than just for a sheen to the cheek there's many products that you can give a sheen to the cheek but I use highlighters as well for the color to keep that area light to you know so I don't have to pack on so much like concealers and all that I'm just obsessed with this I just love it and it smells good too another product that I just cannot get enough of is this Cogendo uh, my phone she UV face powder SPF 20 PA plus plus I think I mentioned this in last month's favorite too but this is what I've been using nearly every single day to set my under eye concealer um, I still love my elf um, translucent 
what is it called? The cool pressed powder and then also that little one I mentioned favorites a while ago an under eye setting powder from e.l.f. Both those are like those are amazing setting powders for fair skin um, for your concealer underneath the eyes for the price. They're just really good. Anyway, um, this has got the SPF and it also has the tiny, tiny bit of color to it. But when it hits that emollient surface, it doesn't change into a deeper shade, which is the biggest problem I have with setting powders. I actually have white setting powders, you know, for under your eyes or whatever, that even when I set underneath my eyes with those, the concealer turns deeper drives me absolutely crazy. Anyway, this doesn't do it. It has a tiny tinge of color to it. It's bright. It's just got it on my face right now to set my concealer. So I just really love this. A couple of the ever so controversial M products. <laughs> um, I can't get enough of these, these lip balms or the pillow plush balms. Um, I think I showed this, ex here I'll show this other one. I wore this in one of my Instagram photos and people were like, what is on your lips? And this is what it was. It was the, um, the pillow plush balm by by uh, M and this is the shade Bubblegum. I love this. Since they had a wicked sale during Black Friday or whatever and Cyber Monday, I actually purchased um, another one of these because I like to have one in my purse and I like to have one in my office and I'd like to have one in here. <laughs> I just really love them and the smell, I don't know what it is about the smell but I could just like sit here and smell these because they just smell really, really good. So I love, I love all of them <laughs> and they're moisturizing and they're just awesome. A couple more lip products. This Bare Minerals Fly High Marvelous Moxie Lipstick. I adore, I absolutely adore these lipsticks, but this shade in particular, um, mine it looks pretty sad. <laughs> I do have another one of these, it's, it's up there, but this is the one that is usually in my purse, but this is what it looks like. It is just a really purple, purpley uh, pink color, kind of like Snob, but which I also really love. A little bit deeper, more purple and deeper than Snob, but glossier and more moisturizing like not as drying as snob is and then also this one here is the chroma beauty joy joystick lip lacquer in the color baby doll and i saw somebody mention this in one of their videos and i was like hey i have that and i had bought it used it maybe once or twice and like threw it in in the the collection of things i guess and I forgot about it and i busted it out and put it in my purse and like every time i go somewhere i just i just can't stop putting it on <laughs> and this is another product that smells absolutely it smells so good i think it's like the honey in there it's like a mix of honey and vanilla and it's just absolutely delicious it's actually probably kind of similar to the fly high a little bit more pink but just super super glossy i actually bought a couple more of these it's this one right here um that are in a bucket back there <laughs> that I need to haul, but I really, really enjoy these two lip products. Now for a few eyebrow products, which I have both of these on today, and I totally forgot to mention this last month in my favorites video, but I had been using it since last month, and that's the Benefit Gimme Brow, and this is in the shade Light Medium. Uh, supposedly it's supposed to have, um, it's got a little tiny wand like this, which is, I love the wand for de doing the eyebrows that like with a colored product something with this much pigmentation in there you can really sculpt your brows with this product but um it holds the brows in place and I don't have to be so precise when I fill in my brows daily with like the um, next product I'm going to tell you because I can go in with this and it'll just like fill in the kind of fill in the gaps I do have it on it's also like a setting setting um brow product and supposedly it has fibers that'll attach to the brow hairs you brow hairs <laughs> The brow hairs that you already have, perhaps you have um, sparse brows or something like that, it'll cling on to the little bit, bit of hairs that you may have and make them look fuller. That's what it says it's going to do. I can't vouch for that because I have pretty decent eyebrow hairs, <laughs> but I do love that. And then when I was in CVS the other day, um, they had one of these left and it's the Maybelline Color Tattoo in matte brown, which is all the rage. <laughs> Everybody in there dog wants these but I don't actually like the color tattoos on my eyes they're way too drying like I could put one all over my eyes and then try to do a shadow and it it's so drying I can't even get shadow to stick to it that's how it is for me I know a lot of people love them and stuff but it it's too much effort than what it's worth to me to to use them so but when I saw this one again in the store because I'd seen them before and actually picked up a couple for someone um, I was like, you know what? That would be a perfect brow shade. Because <laughs> you guys know I love my Quite Natural Paint Pot. And I still love that. But the shade is a little on the deeper, with a tiny hint of red to it. Not like red red, but, well, 
you guys might know what quite natural looks like but this is a little bit more grayish taupey on the grayish taupey side it's it's not as creamy as the paint pot which I don't particularly like but I do really like the color I've had this on I think in my last two two videos yeah and I have it on my eyebrows today as well along with some glitter if you guys can see it <laughs> and then a brush that I had been eyeballing in Sephora probably every single time that I went in there um, I finally decided to buy it and I absolutely love it and it is the pro airbrush concealer number 57 it looks like that I'm gonna show it, show it with another brush here but this is what it looks like I've been using this every day to just put my concealer on right here and one of my favorite brushes for putting on concealer is the elf flawless concealer brush I have I don't know how many of these I've never I don't think ever paid more than a dollar fifty for them because I get them on on the fifth when they have 50% off um, studio line on sale which I have a ridiculous amount of these for the price of this brush you cannot go wrong now <laughs> look at these they look let's see yeah there <laughs> they look a lot alike the shape of the heads are almost dead on uh, I don't think that this one does like uber uber so much better of a job than the elf one but Maybe because it's like so fancy looking, I find it funner to use, which is totally lame, but <laughs> they are pretty much the same brush. So if you're interested in this brush here, which I think it was twenty some dollars, which is quite expensive, um, go for the e.l.f. one. Sucker is awesome as well. But I, I do, I love, I love both of these brushes. But I've been using this one all month just because I, I bought it and I, I love it too, and it's fancy. <laughs> so I, I do love both of these brushes. Now for some fun stuff. I have been using these next four items all month. I just can't get over them how perfect they are for, well the first two, how perfect they are for the seasons and the winter and everything. They are the two mini life palettes from the Michelle Fawn line. This one here is Winter Life, which it's perfect for winter looking cold icy looking makeup. It's just gorgeous. Um, I did do a video with these if you guys want like swatches and stuff like that I'll, I'll try to remember to link it below but uh, I love these I've been wearing this one and this one loads all month I was wearing this one here in my I think all about eyes video gorgeous these things are gorgeous I just absolutely love them now these next two are a little premature because I did just get them what was it a week ago week or week and a half ago maybe but I can't get over them between, I, between the, the life palettes and these ones, I've just been going, I just, I love them. I absolutely love them. This one here is the Shu Uemura Heartful Pink Parallel Palette. And it looks like this. I also did videos with the shoe palettes if, if you guys are interested. I'll link that below. But um, I've never quite used anything like these silk shadows. The, these ones this one and these two are silk formula I don't see that they sell them separately on the website but I haven't used anything quite like that and then the regular shadows are just they're phenomenal and the blushes are phenomenal I just I love them um and then the other one is the enchanted black parallel palette which is fabulous as well same same exact fabulous quality as the other one and I love them I just really 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 love them and then last but not least is a sponge and oddly enough I've watched a couple favorites videos already and I've seen this in quite a few people's favorites videos which that's cool but this is the Real Techniques um, sponge and I, this is the only other sponge that I've tried besides the Beauty Blender which I do like the Beauty Blender for blending out liquid foundations or BB creams and stuff like that uh, I think it's ridiculously expensive for what it is a sponge you know it's it's pretty a, a pretty expensive product anyway a lot of other people who mentioned this in their favorites said it's the exact same um, it's the closest thing to the beauty blender that they have found which I, I can't vouch for that because this is the only other face sponge that I've ever bought in and I do find it to be the same performance as the beauty blender for me when you get it wet it, the texture and everything's the same but the reason why I like this one more is because it's got a flat it's got a flat side there <laughs> it's got a flat side like this so it's gonna cover more area of your face faster and the beauty blender since it the whole thing is round the amount of area it's gonna cover will depend depend on how um, 
how much you push it onto your face you know because the more you the more you push on it the more surface area it's going to expand and the surface area is going to get covered but um i like it because it's faster i find it to be faster and then this this tip here is pretty sharp so you can do conceal you know your concealer under your eyes but i don't use it all the time but if i'm going to use a bb cream or a liquid foundation or something like that because sometimes i get carried away with my face products <laughs> before i go to put my makeup on i'll instead of using a brush because i'm not gonna like sit there and wait for my face products to sink in or dry or whatever for probably a half hour so long it take but uh, i can just use a sponge like this and pounce that product over whatever skincare i have on and it just works out really good because i i can't stop using my good ingredient skincare for the sake of my makeup <laughs> It, but it all works out lovely after I, you know, with the with the sponge. I can use a brush too, but I have to use a more stippling type motion. If I get too out of hand with the circular blending and stuff, then it might start to funk with the skincare because it, it, you know, it'll mix together. But in any event, I do like this. I thought this was the last thing, but it's not. I have one skincare product that I also really love, and I forgot to mention this last month as well because I just really, really love this. It is the uh, Sarah McNamara Beauty New York Miracle Skin Transformer. It is looks like this. I got this at Sephora. Um, it is a face mask. It is does have a, a Kellen Clay base to it. So with all of the great soothing ingredients that are in it, um, it also has that clay, which when the clay dries, that's what pulls out stuff out of your face. So I use this like probably once, possibly twice a week, just because it's fun. <laughs> um, but the, the good ingredients really soothe the redness in my skin and then also it really helps with the impurities in my skin. And it's a really, really nice mask. Invigorate, hydrate, detoxify. Yeah, that's what it says on here. Miracle Revival Mud Skin Restoring Treatment Mask. Yeah, Sarah McNamara, Miracle Skin Transformer. I think it was like 36 bucks for the jar, which ain't too bad because it's almost four ounces. Yeah, it's a 3.88 ounce jar, which is pretty good. This is what it looks like inside right there so yeah it kind of smells like a mud mask but it's really soothing i really like it so those are my november favorites i hope that you guys aren't freezing there's a massive storm up here in the north um probably traveling to the midwest area or whatever it's supposed to be the high in two days like negative eight that's the high that's the temperature and i think the low is negative 22 <laughs> at night time so if there's wind we're going to be in the probably 50 below range. <laughs> if you guys don't hear from me, I'm probably frozen in the snowbank somewhere because I was out putting out hay for the horses or something. <laughs> no, I should be all right, but I'm used to this cold weather, but at the same time, it does suck. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.